We're starting off with the trader rundown. Bank of America and Citigroup both turning in some very healthy profits. Let's turn to Nick Santiago of In The Money Stocks. And what's your take on bank earnings coming into the market this week? Yeah, all of the bank stocks that reported the profits were amazing. Uh, basically, a steeper yield curve seems to be helping out the financials a lot. Um, as you know, bond yields have run up, and that certainly has been a big catalyst for those stocks moving higher. So we'll we'll see what they do going forward. Again, a lot will have to do on uh, a lot. To, a lot will have to do with the yields. If yields continue to climb, I bank earnings should continue to uh, to be very very good going forward. The stock market continues to set new highs. What's your perspective? Is the market at this juncture picking up momentum and catching a bid? Well, I think right now we got what we call a runaway market. The markets are just clicking uh, with all of the stimulus that's going on, with all of the spending proposals that are taking place, with all of the spending that's happening. And then you have people getting their $1,400 checks. Uh, a lot of them are putting it right into the stock market. So this is um, a product of all of those uh, variables. And I think, you know, right now um, it still can go a little bit higher in the near term. What I would watch for is if we get a big reversal day of some sort, then that could tell us there's some problems. But right now, the market seem to be holding up pretty well. We'd love to get your trades, Nick. What's your trade of the day for us? Yeah, I'm actually looking at the defense contractors, two in particular. I'm looking at uh, RTX, which is Raytheon. I think that chart is setting up really nice. I know they're going to report earnings soon, so it could be a little bit risky getting in ahead of the earnings. And another one that I like is Booz Allen Hamilton, B-A-H, is the ticker symbol there. They're information technology for the government. So we got a lot of stuff going on geopolitically around the globe right now. And I think this is a, a good time. And those charts look pretty poised to move higher. Any final thoughts before you take off? Well, I'm looking forward to the weekend. And, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been another a pretty amazing trading week. So true. Always good to have you here. Thanks. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.